Hello everyone and welcome to this presentation regarding academics at Upper Iowa University. My name is Amy Tucker and I am the Director of Academic Success here at UIU. I am here as a resource to you in many ways and look forward to meeting you in person when you arrive on campus. We'll start off this presentation by looking at UIU at a glance. UIU is a private not-for-profit university that has been around since 1857. We were founded by a woman named Elizabeth Alexander when she wanted a college for her daughters to attend without having to travel a long distance. UIU is unique in a variety of ways. One of those ways is that we have diverse offerings in ways that students can take classes. We have the residential campus at Fayette. We have 20 plus center and course locations around the United States plus Hong Kong. We also have online courses and self-paced courses. So there truly are many ways that students can earn their degree. UNU is one college, but we are also divided in our academics into three different schools. The School of Arts and Sciences, the School of Business and Professional Studies, and the School of Education. So students will belong to Upper Iowa University, but also within one of those schools. UIU is unique in that we follow a course schedule where each session is eight weeks long. Two sessions equal one semester. So you will earn the same number of credits as others at a semester-based college, but you'll only have to focus on two or three courses at a time. Academic requirements and performance. I think it's good to know as a student what your expectations will be to graduate from Upper Iowa University. All of our students need to earn 120 credits. 120 credits is kind of that magic number that you'll need. This includes credits from your major, if you have a minor or emphasis or endorsements. Uh, general education courses, and then any free electives that would still be needed to meet that 120 requirement. You also need a 2.0 GPA cumulatively, and your major must also be a 2.0. A 2.0 is C average grades. You will complete the requirements for your major, and you will complete 36 general education courses in the areas of composition, speech, computer skills, math, cultures, arts and humanities, natural sciences, and the social sciences. Today, more than ever, employers are looking for employees who are well-rounded and a liberal arts education provides you with this opportunity. For Fayette campus students, between 12 and 18 credits is considered full time. If you average between 15 credits a semester, you can be finished in four years. It's important to know the full time status of yourself um, or your student because this is important for financial aid as well as for NCAA athletics. We also have academic standards where students under 30 credits need to have a minimum of a 1.75 GPA. Between 30 and 59 credits is a 1.9. And then any student over 60 credits is a 2.0 GPA requirement. So that's the average that you'll also need for graduation. It's important to note that the 2.0 is still needed for NCAA eligibility regardless of how many credits the student has. And some courses, some majors may have higher requirements to be part of a program, such as education majors. Financial aid eligibility is also important. To get your full aid, you need to be full time. We also require to meet those academic standards as listed above. They also look at completions. So making sure that students are completing 66.7% of their enrolled courses and maximum time frame, which is when students must complete their degree within 180 credits. Now we'll focus on the student academic experience, starting with faculty relationships. 
One of the great advantages of attending a smaller university is that the faculty really do get to know their students. You are a person and not a number. So they're going to notice if you're not at class, but they're also going to be concerned why that might be. So they might follow up. Uh, they have office hours and are often willing to go above and beyond to help their students learn and succeed. So the faculty relationships are sometimes some of the strongest relationships students develop on campus or as part of their education. And so it's really important to get to know your faculty and start developing those relationships early on. As I mentioned earlier, you will take two or three courses at a time each eight week session. Faculty instruct in a variety of ways. So you might be in a traditional classroom for one course, in a laboratory for another. You might have experiential learning experiences where you are literally out in the field for a science course. Clinical experiences, student teaching, and internships. These are all examples of how students learn at UIU. Faculty can assist with connections to various opportunities such as internships, scholarships, and much more. Each student is assigned an academic advisor in his or her area of study. And the academic advisor is just a wonderful resource. They are there to support you in a variety of ways, from discussing various opportunities within your major, to registering for courses, providing resources and referrals if you are struggling in any way, and helping you navigate through your academic experience to graduation and beyond. As a new student, I encourage you to reach out to your academic advisor to meet within the first two weeks so that you have a relationship established right away, especially if you have questions or are struggling. Now we'll move on to the academic calendar. For the Fayette campus, courses are held in the fall semester and spring semester on campus. There are two eight-week sessions in each semester. We also have a summer semester where courses are offered mainly in the online format. Eight-week sessions work great for a lot of students, but you also need to keep in mind that it is so important to go to class and keep up on your homework. Two missed class periods in an eight week session is equal to one missed week in a semester based course. You can see on this slide that classes for fall 2020 begin August 31st. Final exams for session one are October 21st and 22nd. Session two begins October 26th. And it's important to know that this year, after the Thanksgiving break, Session two will move to online instruction for the remainder of the session until finals in December 16th and 17th. Please make sure that you schedule your flights and travel accordingly because you really shouldn't be missing any part of the session. Other important dates to remember and you can um, find out more about once you are actually a student here is that finals are the Wednesday and Thursday of week eight. The last day to add a course is the Wednesday of week one of each session. So if you need to switch things around, you need to do that by the Wednesday of week one. And then the last day to withdraw from a course without a grade, um, there'll be a W on the transcript to withdraw is the Friday of week five. Now we'll go into some student academic expectations. The best thing you can do for yourself to be successful as a student is to attend your classes. I can't stress this enough. You're also likely familiar with syllabi. You will have one for each of your classes in college. Make sure you look through it and throughout the semester and session. Everything on the syllabus is kind of like a contract between you and the instructor. Ensure you understand the instructions, ways to contact your professor, and deadlines that might be coming up. Classroom etiquette is also important, 
a general rule is just be respectful. The biggest issues we often see are students on their cell phones or wearing headphones or playing on computers while in class. So really work to be present and on topic when you are in the classroom as there's a lot of information that is being shared each and every time. Technology. So you should be checking your at uiu.edu email daily. This is how the university will be communicating to you as a student. You will also utilize my UIU and UIU Learn throughout your time at UIU. We do have a variety of technology resources and printing is available on campus. Another way to be successful is to purchase or rent your textbooks. I know they're expensive, but it's also really expensive to have to retake a course or extend your time in college because you failed due to not having the book or course materials you needed. Attending class and having the needed materials are two of the best ways to be a successful student. So when you're looking at maybe your financial aid or saving money, make sure that you include the cost of course materials in those calculations. As I mentioned earlier, plan your flights and travel wisely. Unless it is an extenuating circumstance, you should not be arriving late or leaving early from each session. And finally, this is your education. Take advantage of the opportunities, but also take personal responsibility when you make a mistake. Ask for help when you need it. You are ultimately responsible for earning your 120 credits to graduate. We're here to help you along the way, but this is your education. Some of the ways that we help are through our academic resources. UAU offers a variety of free academic resources to help you be your best self as a student. We have a tutor center, which has free tutoring in all subjects except for writing. And we have an actual physical center on the Fayette campus and also online uh, tutoring options for students as well. The writing center has free writing assistance available for any course and at any stage in the writing process. The writing center is also a physical location on the Fayette campus, but has online options as well. Academic success workshops and one-on-one -on -one meetings. So my office offers a variety of workshops on topics such as time management, test anxiety, and note taking to, take, to name a few. I also work one-on-one -on -one with students to help them meet their academic goals, especially if they're struggling. I'm here as a resource for you. Disability services. If you are a student who has utilized accommodations in the past, we have an office where you can set up accommodations for your college courses. Email disabilityservices at uiu.edu to begin this process. Library services. We have a wonderful library and librarians willing to assist you with your various needs as a student, from accessing materials, how to find research articles, how to find scholarly research articles, and just to have a quiet space to study if you are on campus and needing somewhere to be. Career development. Your visit to the career development office should begin in your first year, not your senior year. They have many resources for students throughout their college experience. And some of these examples include career assessments, internship and job opportunities, resources for undeclared students, resume assistance, and mock interview opportunities. Your instructor office hours are also an academic resource available to you. Take advantage of this time. Show your instructor that you are trying and really making an extra effort to learn especially if you are struggling. And again, your academic advisor is a person who is able to assist you in the various aspects of navigating life as a college student. Utilize this resource. And finally, owning your degree. Take advantage of the many opportunities that come your way in college, and there will be many of them at Upper Iowa University. Ask for what you need. If you need help, we might, not, we might not know it until you tell us. Advocate for yourself. Ask for what you need. Seek resources. 
They are accessible and here for you. Be proactive. This goes with communication with your advisor, communication to your faculty members. Be proactive in making plans and in timelines and in managing your time. You wanna make sure that you are communicating ahead of time if you know something is coming up or if you'll be gone or if you're sick. Take advantage of internships and job opportunities and opportunities to shadow an employer or an alum to further your knowledge and experiences. What will set you apart from others with your major and degree after you graduate? After you have that degree, what are some of the experiences and opportunities that you took advantage of that you can speak to in an interview? We are so excited for you to be UIU students. And I want to offer that if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me or your admissions counselor after watching this presentation. We look forward to seeing you soon. And we are hoping that you have an excellent transition into academics in a college setting and go Peacocks. <laughs>